Guess I let you co-star. If I gotta do it, I'ma do the most. Since they paid to see a show, got the sauce overflow. Yeah. If I gotta do it, I'ma do the most. What you need to take, no raise a toast to the goat. Yeah. Hey everyone, this is Kelly with Kelly's Reactions. I hope everyone's doing great today. We are gonna get back into this. We've gotta get out of this groove I was in. I was having some technical issues, and then we had a major accident the street down below us so it knocked out the power for a while so we are back and we are going to do iron maiden to tame the lamb but before we go get before we get going please subscribe and please smash that like button please share show the love and um also in the comments if you have a song you want me to react to please put that down there as well and i'll get to it as soon as i can so as we get going here iron maidens to tame the land was released in 1983. what i didn't know was it was actually based on the science fiction movie dune and um i believe iron maiden wanted to name that the that song dune but I guess the author of the book did not want to give the rights to naming the song, something about individuality and everything, but there probably is more to it. I mean, the band did try to reach out to them, and um, unfortunately, I don't think it ever got resolved. I was trying to kind of get a little insight on everything, um, but I did hear that it was based off the, uh, the movie, the uh, fiction book, actually the book, not the movie. The book came before the movie. <laughs> so, um, with that being said, I don't really know much about the song, so we're going to hear it all the way through. I didn't listen to a lot of Iron Maiden growing up or back in the 80s and 90s. I just heard some kind of their top ones you'd hear out more familiar with and stuff. So, let's get going. Oh, my hair's still kind of wet. All right, let's get going. Wow, that was quite the transition from like this melancholy, like not fairy tale, but kind of just working into something, you know, magical, and then, then boom. Da -da 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 -da. Oh my gosh, that was quite the grand transition. So good. Wow, he can he can hold his notes. 
really well. So good. Very, um, it's almost like he doesn't even need to take like that big breath to like hold that long note. It's just like built right in type of thing. Awesome.
Wow. It ended the same way it began with that kind of like slower, softer guitar and melody along the lines. Oh my gosh, so good. So good. It wasn't um, resembling or coming across like the other um, two or three Iron Maidens I've done, um, but it was still amazing. The guitar solo, it was almost like melt and butter. <laughs> it was just like, wow, it just carried you. Um, I don't know the meaning behind it, but some of the lyrics kind of jumped out at me. Uh, kind of like a desert kingdom, the Messiah, judgments. Judgments will be people have their judgments against them and everything. But I don't really catch the meaning of this. Um, I did catch it that it was um, the um, based off the book. Um, and they were hoping to name it Dune. So it kind of had probably to do with a desert village kingdom type thing and everything that comes with it. But... I'm so wrong, probably, and I would love to hear what you think of this song and what, or what your knowledge is of this song. Um, I apologize, I'm getting hoarse again. Um, but anyway, very overall good song. Love the transition from the, the small guitar intro to into their more heavy stuff, more rock, and then it kind of trickles back into um, the soft guitar melody part at the end. Loved it. Amazing. Um, please keep the Iron Maid songs coming. If I don't know them, then I will do them. So everyone have a great day. Please subscribe. Please smash that like button. Please put a comment in there of a song you want me to react to, and I'll get to it as soon as I can. Thank you so much. Have a great day from your friendly Raina.